Hi everyone, it's Kiri here with my first design team layout for Bramble Fox. I'm super excited to be here and this month I'm working with the fabulous August Fox Box and I'm using those cute little beach huts and the title Oh The Places Will Go um, and you can see them just um, here. Coming up I've got some fabulous photos of some very pretty rainbow coloured beach huts um, that we discovered in Folkestone. And I'm going to team them with the Sunkissed collection from Simple Stories. And I'm just cutting up some of the um, tags here because I'm going to layer them behind my photos. And the idea I had was to use the tags um, to sort of match the colours of the beach hut. So sort of like a rainbow, um, but with just the pinks, the blues and the um, sort of aquary green. So I'm just working out which of the tags I'm going to use. And I have to say, it took me a while fiddling around and working out exactly how I was going to place them all. Um, you'll see I sort of switched them around. I think I started with the pink on the left, but I've moved the pink over to the right now. And I'm just working my way through each of the tags, distressing them. Um, I just like to add, you'll find out, I like to add um, a bit of extra texture to my layout. So this distressing just helps um, me achieve that. So they're all done. And I'm just now taking this fabulous sort of wood grain polka dot paper, uh, as I just want to sort of add a bit of a grounding um, below my photos because the tags will be behind um, and I think the the wood grains perfect to go with the beach hut photos. Um, I've spotted this seagull on one of the tags so I'm just popping him out because I'm going to fussy cut um, him out later <coughs> and then I'm working my way through the tags now just putting a hole in the top with my cropper dial and um, now I'm just looking at the photos and deciding that I'm going to mount each of the photos again in the sort of coordinating colours. So I'm just starting here with the sort of soft aquary green and then I'll work my way along using um, the blues and the pinks. I won't show you all of this because it takes a little while. Um, what's happening next? I'm just finishing off the green. And if, as if by magic, all done. And I'm now going to distress the edges of all the mounted photos. Um, again, because some of these are going to be flat to the bottom um, when I stick them down. And um, I just like to create a little bit of difference between that and the paper it's layered on. Um, so they're all done. And I'm now going to add some embroidery thread through each of the tags. So again, working with coordinating colours in the, the green, the blue and the pink. Now I get go through all of them and tie them like that. However, you'll notice a little bit later, I've changed it all. I take away the, the sort of loop, the tag and create just little loops instead. I didn't like the sort of tag tags all floating around all over the place. Okay, I've got them all set up and just working out those perspectives, but can't quite decide. I keep moving from the sort of left side to the center. So I decide I'm gonna start fussy cutting um, the seagull out and I've also pulled out the crab and that sun on the tag so I'm going to fussy cut those out as well um, but I'm going to speed that up rather than you sit and watch me fussy cut all those different pieces out and as if by magic they're all done I've added those in along with some of the matching stickers and the um, foam thicker stickers that go with the um, collection I'm just adding again keeping to a sort of tone on tone effect and um, now starting to stick them down. So you can see I'm just adding a sort of a foam pad to the top of the sticker and then glue just to the bottom again, creating a, just a little bit of dimension at the top edge. Um, doing the same with the seagull here and I'll do the same with all of um, the pieces across the top working my way through. So they're all they're all stuck down and what's next? Ah, looking at some of the little um, sort of word stickers and deciding what to add. Again, playing with the um, cute beach hut perspective and the title perspective and the center point is where they're going to actually stay. But I'm just going to finish off sticking down these um, word stickers and then I'm going to 
um, finely stick down the perspective. So I use glossy accents, gives it a good hold, just getting it stuck down there. And the little pink um, beach hut, I'm just actually layering very slightly over the blue. So adding a bit of foam, sticky foam to the right of it. So, and holding those firmly for a moment, just to make sure that they are well and truly stuck down. And you can see, done already. Okay, and I'll do the same. Glossy accents on the back of the title perspective. Oh, the places we'll go. And um, I'll get that stuck down centrally below. Sorry about the headshot there and a good glimpse of the grey roots. Um, obviously you need to go to the hairdressers. Okay, that one is stuck down and I'm happy with that. Now I'm just going to add in a few more of the little um, stick on brads and enamel dots. Um, again, coordinating with the colours and that's all done. And you'll see I've also added my journaling below the um, title as well. And I'm just looking, I feel like I need to add something to the top and the bottom of the layout just to sort of ground it slightly. So taking that wood grain spotty paper and um, cutting um, two strips of that. Obviously, ideally, it'd be best to do this before I'd stuck everything down. But hey ho, that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, so just getting those stuck to the top and the bottom of the of the layout after I trimmed a little bit of the white cardstock off, obviously to keep it as a twelve by twelve. And here we go, we are all done. Um, I think that's it now. Um, yeah, happy with that. Here's the final layout, and it's going to bring you to some close ups as well. See all the pretty rainbow colours and you'll see there's those super cute beach huts and the fab title which was perfect for our trip down to the south coast to Kent and again the final layer. Thanks everyone for watching, that was Kiri designing for Bramble Fox. See you in the next video.